What's going on? This is Ethan with Telltale's Fly Shop and today I want to talk to you about a two fly technique used primarily in lakes. Uh, now lakes are something that a lot of anglers, particularly fly anglers, uh, don't like. You know they don't know where to find fish, they just don't find success, they feel like they can't cast far enough, all sorts of this stuff. Um, so I, I do like fishing lakes, I do it a fair amount. Um, and this is one of the techniques that I use a lot because it's going to draw in fish uh, and then kind of com they commit to eating something that you are offering. And the basic principle is this. It's not mind changing, right? This has been done a lot of times before, but you're going to take a larger pattern, something like this is a, a bugger changer in black or just like a straight up woolly bugger. There it is right there. Beautifully in focus. A nice earring. Um, you're going to take something that's going to draw fish in, a JJ special with all those rubber legs on that thing. Because the fish are going to feel that. Their lateral line is going to allow them to know something is in the area. So they'll come in to inspect it and see what's going on. Sometimes this is too big of a meal for the fish that you're catching, right? So if you're just trying to find bluegill or something like that in the pond, you know, not every bluegill in the pond is going to want to eat something that's two and a half or three inches long. Um, but they are interested in smaller stuff, little tiny copper johns, prince nymphs, uh, pheasant tail, 20 inches. Basically stuff that you already have in your trout boxes uh, is all that we're talking about adding on to your lake fishing. So it's a pretty easy process to do. Basically you're going to have your larger pattern in the front. This is going to be directly connected it's fancy, to your leader. And then off the back end of that you're going to have your smaller pattern which is going to be something like I already talked about, a nymph basically. Um, and the idea, like I said, is for these fish that are going to come in because they know that something is there. Uh, and when they come on in, you know, they're inspecting it. Maybe it's just they're not feeling it that day. So then all of a sudden, this smaller guy, in this instance, a little copper john, comes rolling on by too. Well, they've already moved, you know, two or three foot or maybe ten foot. So it's just one of those, like, low commitment things, you know. You can just kind of swim through it and eat the thing as they're going on by. Um, this is a technique that I actually use pretty frequently. Um, in fact, I literally used it this morning, which is one of the reasons I thought I should make a video of this because I, I fish lakes a lot. I uh, use this method a lot and really it's it's not a big fish technique. I'll warn you of that right now. Uh, I'm not saying this is going to catch you the biggest trout, you know, stock trout or the biggest bass or anything like that. This is really just a way to increase the amount of fish that you're catching while you're out already. Um, so just this morning, I show up at a local lake, I'm throwing this dude, uh, just kind of dredged the bottom with these things, active retrieve, and uh, caught two fish in maybe like 30 minutes or an hour or something like that. It was before work, so give me a break. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, you know, I ought to just add the second fly because I always seem to do better. So I put on a little size 12, it's actually a red copper john, um, and then like three casts later, picked up a fish, uh, didn't get a photo of that, but then, you know, I had another like 30 minutes to fish left before I needed to come here, um, and so I ended up picking up three more fish all on the Copper John. None of them, after I added the Copper John, none of them ate this guy. Um, so it, it's really interesting, you know, to see what happens. Plus, the, the diversity of species I feel like I catch when I add this little itsy bitsy guy on um, increases. So like the last fish that I actually caught a picture of um, was a crappy out of the pond, right? So just retrieving this thing, retrieving it, and then feel a little tiny, just pause and just strip one more time. And oh, look at that, there's a fish on. Um, so it's a really just fun way to to keep the rod, you know, rolling. Like I said, here in Lynchburg, we've got quite a few lakes all around town. Um, it's not something that, you know, there's just exquisite, beautiful mountains, scenery all around. No, like this is urban fishing. Um, but it is a way that, you know, I went out this morning and was able to catch 
um, a couple trout and uh, crappie and actually bluegill too. Uh, just using this method, you know, before work. So it's one of those things that it increases your chances of fishing um, or catching fish, uh, and it's it's fun to do. So let's dive into how I rig it. Uh, the main things that you're going to need are going to be patterns you probably already have, which are like woolly buggers or streamers, um, bigger nymphs, even like a, a mop fly would work, and then smaller nymphs. So you could use a, a midge, a zebra midge, something like that. Um, and then I really like 3x tippet for this. Um, you could you could go heavier. I don't usually ever go lighter than 3x tippet. Uh, and the reason being is because those fish, you know, I don't think that they're nearly as spooky, at least, I mean, we're talking about stock fish here. So those fish aren't nearly as spooky as on like a spring creek or a tailwater, that sort of thing. Plus you have an active retrieve. So when they are going up to this, they can already see the tippet in most instances, but the little bug is moving. Um, it's you're not trying to get a dead drift presentation out of this so 3x tip it works fine and it causes less tangles you can try 4x but you'll want 3x if you want to do this a lot um, and that's pretty much it so let me break down the rigging for you and we'll switch angles here um, and kind of get like a direct down shot and let's get started all right so here's the basic setup this is the box I had out this morning. So you've got your smaller streamer patterns, like I said, stuff that's just going to draw attention. So Crelex, buggers, um, and then you've got some of your smaller stuff. So we're going to do just literally everything that I like to do. And so we've got this little bugger and we've got the red copper john. So this is the unique thing about this setup. Literally, this is the only reason that I think this is worthy of making a video is because the way you tie this on is a little different. So let me zoom in here. So we're all zoomed in. This is going to be our big pattern, so it's the first one that we're using. And then the red amnesia that I have here is just representing the leader material. So you would just tie this on like normal. So that's just a really basic Davy knot there that we have on. And that's going to be going straight to our fly rod. So then the next bit, which is really the, the unusual portion, is we're just going to go straight to the eye of that hook with another piece of tippet. Again, this would be the 3X. It's another Davy knot coming off at a 90 degree angle, which I just pulled it to make it do that. So you should have one that's going to be going straight to your fly rod. Then this guy is coming at a 90 degree angle, you know, foot to 24 inches, somewhere in that range. And then we're going to attach our copper jump. So that guy is now attached. I come in, I cut all the tags, which is pretty much how I always do it, just to save time. And you have the setup. That's it. So your little changer is able to move or your bugger or humongous is another pattern that I like to use a lot uh, on lakes. And then behind that trailing, you have this little tiny copper john. So it's one of those ways you catch a lot more fish doing this. And it's really not uncommon. I mean, people use two flies all the time and they've been using two flies for a long time. Um, but this is one of those ways that the rigging's a little bit different, uh, and for guys that don't fish lakes often, this might be somewhat unfamiliar to you. So this is the setup, like I said, bigger pattern, whatever one you want, smaller pattern, and you'll be out catching fish. Easy as that. All right, hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions at all, feel free to shoot them my way. Uh, I love you know answering questions. It's fun. Um, if you catch some fish using this technique, then shoot those my way too. Um, again, this is Ethan with Telltale's Fly Shop. Have a good day.